What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Devin and I hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. I love you so much. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. We're going to be using the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. So honestly, when I got started doing this look, the vision in my head was just like quick, simple, transitional look from summer to fall. It's Labor Day when I'm filming this. I'm not 100% sure when this video will actually be going up because I've been filming a whole bunch this weekend. But now that I've actually completed this look, I do feel like this look does scream fall makeup a little bit, and at least in, for my personal style and I am not mad about it. So whether you would consider this look a little bit more transitional from summer to fall or whether or not you consider it a fall makeup look and you just wanna dive right into it, I'll leave that up to you for this one. But regardless, we're gonna do this look together. Before we get into it, if you feel so inclined, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this look and share my channel with a friend if you like this. All of those things really do help us YouTube creators out in the algorithm, especially when you are a small channel and trying to grow. So don't just do it for me, do it for all of your favorite creators that you watch, but it really, really, really does help not just watching the video, but also engaging with it. I just appreciate the support if you choose to do that. So thank you so much. Okay, I think that's all I wanna say for this intro today. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup. All right, so here is the palette that we're gonna be using today. I don't believe that I have filmed with this on my channel before, but I have used this quite a bit on my own, as you can see. Definitely not looking brand new, definitely looking like it's gotten some use. This is a great palette from Sigma. I really like Sigma's eyeshadow formula and they are one of my favorite high-end brands. I do have a couple palettes from them. I just don't always like collect palettes from them or collect items from them in general just because they're a little bit more expensive than I typically like to spend on the rag. But every so often when they're having a sale or if I feel like I wanna treat myself, they are one of the brands that I go to because I do really love them. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna take this shade Humble and I'm gonna use this to set down my eyeshadow primer. Sorry, I'm trying not to like I keep, I've been realizing in my videos that I tend to hold my mirror up like this and then it, the camera focuses on the mirror and not on my look. So I will try <laughs> to hold the mirror out of frame so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, next I'm gonna come into this shade Toasty. I'm grabbing it on a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush. Just use whatever you have. And I'm gonna start working this into the crease. Okay, so as you can probably tell, I'm not being shy. I am picking up quite a bit of that shadow onto the brush and just going for it right away. I really want this look, I'm sure I've talked about this in the intro already at this point, but since I haven't filmed that yet, my intention for this look is just a really beautiful fall leaning look, but also something that's like pretty, pretty universal year round. And also something that's great for the transition from summer to fall. I do have my, uh, what is this? It's the Apple Crisp Ice Macchiato here as well. I went for the pumpkin cream cold brew, but they were out of like the ingredients that they needed to make the pumpkin cream, I think they told me. So I went with this. This is my first time trying the Apple Crisp one and I let me know in the comments. Leave me a comment if you're team pumpkin cream cold brew or Apple Crisp Macchiato because personally, I'm still team pumpkin cream cold brew. This came with so much milk in it. It looked like that instead of putting milk in the coffee, they put coffee in the milk. And I get that a macchiato is kind of like half and half, but I had to come home and like dump a bunch of it out and then just put more. I have like a cold brew maker, so I just put more of my own cold brew in here to make it taste more like coffee. I like the flavored coffees and stuff, but I still like to be able to taste the coffee. I don't want to feel like I'm drinking a big cup of milk. You know what I mean? So anyway. Let me know, let me know your fall coffee order in the comments. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna be sticking kind of in this little quad here. So I'm just gonna go into the shade Henna. I'm also picking this up on a fluffy eyeshadow brush, but I'll just compare these side by side. 
So the one with the lighter color on it is the one we just used for the crease. And then the other one, as you can see, is a lot darker. And that brush is also a bit smaller. Again, I am really gonna smoke this out so I'm not worried about it being too precise. But I do just wanna have a little bit more precision for this darker color. So that's why I'm grabbing it on a slightly smaller blending brush. So. I'm gonna pack that right onto the outer corner here to start. And then I am also gonna run this through the crease as well. Can you see the difference between the two eyes where we're starting to just warm it up a little bit more, bring a little bit more depth to the look, but it's still nice and soft and smoky? That's what I'm going for, I love it. And I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more with a little bit more color on that brush. And then going back in one more time with our first brush and just diffusing that out. Okay, next I'm gonna take this shade Iconic on my finger and I'm gonna put this like in the center of the lid and then tap it out towards the outer corner as well. I did this in my recent e.l.f. video as well and I really liked the way that that eye look turned out. So I wanna do something similar here with these colors. All right, and then I'm gonna go down into this shade Bittersweet, same thing, I'm just gonna get it on my finger and I'm gonna bring that in the inner third of my eyelid. So I just, normally I just do one shimmer on the lid, but honestly, I love the extra dimension that doing this technique brings to the look. Cause it fades it really nicely, but it also just gives you a little extra something as you like move, as you like turn your head, you know? And using your finger really does help to do, well, actually I'll say it helps to do two things. So it, I personally think it helps to make the shimmer formulas pop, not just like this particular formula from Sigma in particular, but also just generally with shimmery eyeshadows. I just love using my finger when I don't have nails like this because I just think it helps the shimmer pop a little bit more, but it also really helps when you're doing a technique like this to blend these two shimmers together because you really don't want to see where one starts and the other ends. You really want them to just like fade and ombre into each other really nicely. So I love using my fingers for that whenever I get the chance. Okay, I am gonna leave the upper lid just like that for now. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I'm not gonna talk you through it because I want, my videos have been pretty long lately and I just wanna make, I'm just feeling a shorter video today. So we're just gonna focus on the eyes, but I will just speed you up through this part and show you the products that I'm using just in case you're interested. I'm just not gonna talk through it. So let's do the complexion and then we'll come back and finish up the eyes.
All right, you guys, let's finish up this eye look. I tried to play with the lighting on the settings on my camera. I hope it looks okay. I've been noticing in my videos that I look fine when I don't have any face makeup on. And then as soon as I put it on, I start to look really just like over, over, um, like saturated and orange and I swear I don't look that orange in person so and from what I can see in the viewfinder it looks like this is a little bit more true to what I actually look like like the color that I actually am in person I swear I don't look like a Cheeto all the time in my real life so <laughs> if you've been watching my videos and you've noticed that in my other videos just it's a work in progress over here, you know? Okay, so to finish out, this is gonna be really, really simple. So I'm first gonna take the shade Henna, just on a little smudging brush like this, and I'm gonna stamp that along the lower lash line to start. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the shade Toasty, and this is an e.l.f brush it's called elf blending just looks like this what i like about it is this taper here because i'm not trying to be i want to like really smoke it out so i'm not trying to be too precise so i don't care that it's like a little bit bigger um, but i do like that taper on the tip of the brush so i'm just going to take this and smoke out the lower lash line so you can make this as smoky or as tight to the lash line as you want again my vision for this look is just to be nice and smoky so I'm going for it. Okay, for the waterline, I'm gonna take this uh, BFF cream gel liner from ColourPop. This is in the shade Get Paid, as usual with these uh, liners from ColourPop. I have no idea if this color is still available or not. I feel like they rotate them in and out quite frequently, and it's just hard to know what stays in and out of stock. You could use a nude eyeliner, you could leave it bare. Did you hear that thunder? <laughs> it's like sunny outside. I don't see any thunder clouds, but that was, that was like the second big thunder that just happened. Anyway, as I was saying, you can use a brown eyeliner, you can do no eyeliner, you can put whatever color on the waterline that you want. Um, this one has kind of like a metallic-y coppery sheen to it, so I thought it would just go really nicely with this look. Okay, and then to finish this look off, I do want to do a little bit of an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take the shade Charmer, and I'm going to highlight my inner corners and brow bone with that. I don't want to do too much, but just, just a little bit, just a little kiss. Oh, that actually is really bright. All right, let's get some mascara on. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna pop on my Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume. I don't wanna use my waterproof mascaras today because I'm not going anywhere that requires my mascara to be waterproof. So I just wanna be able to <laughs> easily wash it off tonight. For lashes, I'm gonna use another one of the lash sets that I just got in PR from KISS. So I do believe this is a fairly new release. It is the Lash Couture Masterpiece Faux Mink Lash. <laughs> in And this is in the style avant-garde. These look just like slightly more, I almost said slightly, slightly more madratic. Instead of slightly more dramatic, I literally almost just said slightly more madratic. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. These are slightly more dramatic than the other pair that I've used in a couple videos um, from this same collection. So I want to try these on. They look amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, sorry friends. I had to switch out the battery pack while I was like trimming the lashes and applying the glue and everything. So I didn't film the lash application, but lashes are on and they are stunning. I love these just as much as I love the other pair, like the first pair that I tried from this collection. So again, this is the Kiss Lash Couture Masterpiece Faux Mink Collection. Please, please, please do yourself a favor and go check them out. They are so gorgeous. I love them. Okay, so all we have left is lips. So I definitely wanna do a nice like lip contour, ombre lip type of deal here. So I am gonna use the shade Nutmeg from NYX. This is just one of the NYX lip pencils, like the wooden sharpenable ones. I love these. 
these are great. I think they're, they're like four or five dollars and I just think they're so amazing. I have so many of them. Like I've used so many of these on clients. I just, I absolutely love these. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. So obviously looking a little crazy right now, but I did just leave the very center of my lips open because I really just want the depth around the outside to give a nice definition of the lips for a nice contour. And then I'm going to use a lighter lipstick in the center. So this is the Milani, uh, what are these called? They're like the Milani matte lipsticks that everybody goes crazy for. I forget, I'm forgetting what the name of like the collection is off the top of my head, but this is in the shade Tees. I would argue that this is probably the most popular color. It's definitely my favorite of the ones that I have tried. And the formula of these just is absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna put this in the center of my lips. Okay, so you can see how that definitely lightened things up a little bit. And then once I get my lipstick all over my lips, I like to go back in with the lip liner and just kind of redefine the edges and really try to like create that ombre effect so that the darker color of the lip liner fades in with the lighter color of the lipstick really seamlessly. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I think we're done. I really love it. This is definitely like a very me type of look. This is the type of look that I would like get glammed up and go out in and feel very confident and feel like I'm like wearing makeup that is my personal, that fits my personal style, you know? I definitely have like a creative side that likes to play with more color and do things that are a little bit more out of the box. But when it comes to looks that I'm gonna go out and about in my like daily life in, this is definitely something like that, so. I really like it if you haven't gotten that impression already. <laughs> So with all that being said, that is going to be the end of this video. If you have made it this far and you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts were on this look, on these products. If you have any questions on anything I used today, let me know in the comments. I'd love to chat with you there. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am at devdevgregs over there. Instagram is a lot more of my day-to-day -day life. So if you want to hang out with me in between YouTube, videos that is where you can find me and with that I will catch you in my next one Mwah. love you bye